Is AMP 303 going to be the new holy grail for people with hair loss? They recently published their clinical study results and they look promising. But is it really a new innovative treatment as they claim? Or is it just another gimmick? That is what we are going to look into in today's video. Amplifica Holdings Group Incorporated, a privately held clinical stage biopharmaceutical company, recently announced results from its first in human trials of AMP 303, a novel intradermal injectable treatment for androgenic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness, the most common form of hair loss. The randomized double-blind placebo-controlled multi-center study was designed to evaluate the safety and tolerability of AMP 303, while also evaluated, evaluating its efficacy. The results suggest that AMP303 has a significant potential to address hair loss after only one single cycle of treatment. The trial enrolled male participants aged 18 to 45 diagnosed with AGA androgenic alopecia and stratified subjects based on the duration of the hair loss. And if you are wondering what the hell it means to stratify subjects, because that would be a hundred percent reasonable, I will give you the short version. The study divided participants into two distinct groups, those with recent onset of hair loss three to five years, and those experiencing more long-standing hair loss, which is more than 10 years. And this is what it actually means to stratify something. You create subgroups, based on certain parameters. And in this case, they wanted to divide their subjects with recent onset of hair loss and the subjects with what we call long-term hair loss into two groups. On top of that, they used a bilateral pair treatment designed in the frontal temporal region where each participant were randomized to receive AMP on one side of the scalp and the other side of the scalp would be the placebo group, allowing for a direct comparison within individuals. This is something we usually don't see a lot of. This approach combined with the subject stratification by onset of hair loss allowed the analysis of AMP 303's potential effectiveness across different time points and stages of hair loss while controlling for individual variability. But what was the outcome of the study then? Here are some of the key study findings. Safety profile. AMP 303 was observed to be safe and well tolerated. The majority of adverse events were mild in severity and no severe adverse events were reported. Local skin reactions to intradermal injections were similar between the AMP and the placebo sites and consistent with other intradermal injections. On the subject of efficacy, a statistically significant percentage of study subjects, p-value 0.001, showed a greater than 15 increase in the non-villous hair count from baseline compared to the placebo at 60 days post-treatment and a greater than 10% increase compared to the placebo group or placebo site at 150 days post-treatment. I'm so used to saying placebo group, but it's actually just a placebo site now. This is very interesting. Unfortunately, they did not disclose how many hairs per square centimeter they had. So we are going to have to do with the percentage instead of the usual thing where they show how many hairs per square centimeter increased. The study also revealed a single AMP treatment cycle, as they call it, increased in non-villous hair count and sustained hair density and thickness over time, which is 150 days post-treatment and can be seen as a solid improvement compared to the placebo side. And crazy enough, on top of all of that, the study results also demonstrated AMP's abilities to stimulate the transition of villous hair into non-villous hair which is when they actually become real hairs, if you ask me, further emphasizing the treatment's potential for reversing hair loss. But here's the golden question. What is AMP 303 exactly? I could not find any data on the product, so I reached out to Amplifica and asked what AMP 303 is and how it works, and I will give you the exact answer I got. 
AMP303 is a proprietary innovative formulation specifically engineered for intradermal injections to target androgenic alopecia, also known as main pattern baldness, as we talked about, designed to stimulate hair growth. AMP303 has undergone extensive preclinical development, including the detailed identification and understanding of its mechanism of action. It also contains proof of action concept testing in Xenograph models and has demonstrated its powerful hair growth promoting properties, laying the groundwork for its potential as a transformative treatment. That did not answer a lot of my question or any of them. Proprietary formulation. You know, that is the same bullshit move a lot of the shady fitness companies pull when they don't want to disclose the that the secret ingredients into their Master Blaster 2000 pre-workout is actually just extra sugar, and instead they hide the formula behind proprietary blend. Nevertheless, there might be a really good reason for Amplifica to hide their Master Hair Blaster 2000 formula. Based on what we have been seeing for the last few years with these kind of companies, I would not check my mail daily for news on this product. But then again, what do I have to lose except what little hair I have left on my head? Instead of waiting for this, go watch this crazy hair loss transformation video with actual working products that you can start using today.